Hey, welcome back to Teacher Tom's Tutorials. Uh, today's tutorial is going to take us through uh, Google Drive again, and we're going to look at uh, how to create and share out a form. Uh, but for today's teacher tip, you keep these in your classroom, maybe these little little bags of quicker oatmeal. Um, these are good, but you know what I found this year, which I really like? Large bags. They have these big bags you can pour out, you know, as much as you want um, for your daily oatmeal. You take this, you add a fancy mug, uh, maybe some raisins to uh, spice things up, and of course that electric kettle we talked about earlier, and you got yourself instant breakfast, instant snack. Highly recommend it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go check out that drive. So here we are in our Google Drive. Um, you can see we're at the base level of our drive. It says My Drive there. And I'm going to go ahead and create a form. Uh, Google gives you an opportunity to choose the uh, from a few basic designs. I think I'm going to go with uh, Espresso for this one. So I'm going to choose that. Um, you won't see that design right away, but you will see up in the corner there that the theme Espresso is chosen. Um, the first thing I'd like to do in any kind of a Google document is to go ahead and give that a title. So let's go up to where it says Untitled Form, click on that, and give it some kind of a title. So I'm going to call that one Demo Form. You can see that it uh, has also put that onto the document. Uh, in most cases, you want to give that a description. So when you send it out, the people who are receiving that form have some kind of an idea. So um, give them There's a little description for you. How about that? Um, and then you just go ahead and start uh, banging in your questions. So you click right here and say, something like that. If you feel like they need some help, toss that in. Um, you get to choose the type of question. The default is multiple choice. Uh, maybe we want to make this one a choose from list. And maybe we're going to say um, first. And I'm hitting tab. And you can see you can give a pretty unlimited little list there. Um, if you want to make that question a required question, you go ahead and check that required question box below. Um, if I were done, I would click, I would choose done, but I want to add another question, so I'll just click add item. And maybe I want this one to be a multiple choice. So option one, maybe option two, maybe option three, whatever obviously uh, the question answers you would put in there and you can have as many as you want and you can make it a required question if you want or not um, and then you go ahead and click view live form if you want to see so there's that espresso there and there's the questions we put in but um, let me take you to a form that I've uh, put a little bit more time and effort into so this one as you can see I've called a student demo form sharing and uh, for my students I've given um, oops I've given uh, an idea here of what this particular uh, survey is all about. Uh, I've listed in a few different questions here, and I'm going to go ahead and look at that view live form. So I can click on that. I can look it over very quick and see if there's any kind of spelling mistakes or typos or anything else I might want to change. And whoops, I see one there that says check all that Apple. And of course, I wanted that to be check all that apply. That's in the second question there. And I see another one there. So with a couple, um, after I look it over, I can always go back and edit the form. So I'm going to scroll down. And this is the one I wanted to edit. So there's the edit box pops up. Um, this was, of course, a question. And I didn't put a question mark in, so I want to change that. And then I didn't want to say check all that Apple. I wanted to say check all that apply. So it's pretty easy to fix any of the questions that you've got. Um, and I noticed, you know what? I want to know who this survey is coming from. So I'm going to add one more and say, what is your name? And I'm going to make that uh, a text. So they will just write in their answer there, because of course I can't give them options for that. And I'm going to make that a required question. And when I view that live form, I can see that, oh, there it is. But you know what? I think I want that to be the first question. So let's go back in and edit the form. 
and we simply click and drag. So what is your name? I want that to be the first question that the students see. So I just drop it in there and it's as simple to reorder things as that. When you're done with your form, you are going to click on the button that says send form. So we click send form. Oops click send form and then it gives you a couple different ways that you can send that form out for people to work on. Uh, you can always throw it into Google Plus or Google Plus or your Facebook or you can tweet it out. Um, you can if you know someone's email or if you're in an, a, a large group like we are in our school district you can type in their email there or here's an example from our school district um, you can just start typing in their name um, and there's a dude I want to send it to and choose that student or students or people and you can make a giant list there and you would click send and all those people would get that particular email in this case I don't want to email it out but I do want to copy this link so if I copy this link and click copy um, anyone who gets that link is going to be able to access this form so I've copied the link and I need to open up my Edmodo and sign in. So here I am in my Edmodo and I want to leave a message. Here is the new form. Please. Write them a little message, choose the groups you want to send it to, and I'm going to paste that link. And it's going to be a form. I don't know what will pop up there. There we go. Click attach. Click send, and it's as simple as that. A little link will appear, and anyone who then clicks on that link will be sent to a form. I'll go ahead and click on that. You'll see the form appear. Students would just take that form and then click submit, and there you have it. It is not difficult at all. So hey, give those a try, and um, be smart about what kind of questions you want to ask. Figure out before you do that what it is you want, uh, what kind of information you want from those that are filling out your surveys. But give it a shot. It's easy to create, um, easy to share, and can it's pretty powerful. Oh, one last thing I should let you know. When they submit those forms, Google does something pretty cool here. They automatically create a spreadsheet for you that will collect that information. So for example, I sent one out uh, earlier and I called it a turn-in form. So if I click on that, you notice the spreadsheet will pop up. I did not create that. The Google Forms created that when the students answer the questions. You know, I can figure out when that uh, form was submitted, who sent it in, and then these were different questions that I asked. Um, and so it's pretty easy and it uh, organizes it all for you like that. So give it a shot. Jump in. Don't, don't think it's going to be difficult because it really isn't. Thanks for checking in, and I hope you pop back again soon. Thank you.